Oh, we've got an outraged little one. He's quite young. He's pretty too. Hello, sweetie. Did you get yourself stuck on this balcony, did you? Oh, come on. Come on. Me, I've got you. Let me just get my cage for a second. And they've got feet that velcro onto anything, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yeah. If I did it until I find out what sex we are. Shoot. Did you give you a drink? You've been thirsty and it was hot yesterday, wasn't it? And you're very thirsty. So he's too young to fly off there and he's not big enough to, to climb onto the balcony to flap off. Come on. The outrage of life. Let me have a look at you. Aren't you an outraged little character? I do believe there's a tiny little penis there. Yeah. Um, we will see when he has a bit of more of a drink. He's probably hit his head. I know. I know, it is funny. It, it's like when they do big wings, when they're so tiny and they do big wings at you. He's a little bit cranky to take, even to take a proper drink. But I'll give him some cup subcutaneous fluids because yesterday was so hot. And even where he was, he couldn't really get a drink from the rain. Come on, drink it. I'll get you home, give you something to eat, get you some fluids, maybe get you something for your headache. And we'll wrap you up and we'll pretend you're a baby. How's that? This makes him lie down, as you can see. He hasn't got it. He isn't able to get up. Oh, come on. Settle down. He's just a little boy who lost his mum. He's got a bit of a swollen wrist, so I put some goop onto it for him. He's had some pain, something for pain. I'm going to try him on a drink now. Okay, sweetheart, can I have your pacifier back? Hmm? To me. Give it to me. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Ooh, he's just discovered. Real food. This is milk and yogurt smoothie, yogurt fruit smoothie, and it's got some high protein powder in it as well. This is a skinny little soul that's 80 grams underweight. It's about a third underweight. How's that? Is that enough? It's probably enough. Let me feel your belly. That's enough. This is Dingo. This is the. It's just under 24 hours since I picked him up. He's been like a little baby all night, wrapped up on a roll. Hmm? He even lets me toilet him. He doesn't do it for himself. Hey, sweetheart. Have a look, just in case there's something I missed. Anything come up swollen since yesterday? Hmm? He should be grabbing me and trying to climb. Well, that wrist's not so swollen today, is it? Why don't we put some goopy stuff on it, hmm? Can put some goop on your wrist? Yeah. I think he must have banged his wrist when he crash landed on the balcony because it was swollen yesterday. He's still just a tiny little bit puffy. You a little bit happier today? Well, guess what I've got for you? 
on. Good, good boy. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, that's better, look at that. Because he's been so traumatised emotionally, I'm treating him like a really little baby. He's being wrapped on a roll in the incubator until he starts to try and get off his roll and I'm bottle feeding him. You'll get there, won't you? Tonight I'll give him some food after his feed. Clever boy. Are you doing a yawn for me? Ooh, that's a yawn. See how he's hanging with his legs, with his knees bent and he's kind of hunched? That means he's really quite unrelaxed. He's better than he was when he was in a terrified little ball, refusing to move at all. But um, he's still quite wary and unrelaxed. We'll treat him like his mum would. And she'd wrap him in her wings and lick him all over. So we're going to do that. Hmm? All his defiance is gone. Come on. Hello? 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 So I'm going to put him down for the day well for a few hours until his next feed. Wrapped like his mum's wings were wrapping him. He's eaten, he's done a wee. woke up and got off his teddy bear this morning in the incubator, which is the first time that he's done anything other than just lie there since I got him. So I'm hoping he's feeling a little better. He's just making sure he's holding on because last time he let go he ended up on a balcony for two days. So he's really fixated on staying hanging on. He's also a little agitated as you can see and he bites by the way. Here, he's a little bit more feisty. He's still panic stricken and he's still terrified. Mostly he's behaving like a little baby. See, he's starting to relax his foot a bit. Still thinks it should be hooked onto something. I think by tomorrow you're going to be a much happier little baby, aren't you? So do you still need your dummy? Do you still need that? What do you think? No! Okay. He's still sooky enough to want a, um, to be hand fed, but he's feeding himself perfectly well. But they didn't seem to drink a lot of the feed last night, and I think the dripper bottle um, valve stuck. So I'm just making sure he's had enough. Okay, there, these are the rules. There is no climbing on Meg's face. This is not allowed. N no climbing on the face. Do I need to put? Don't you bite either. Do I need to put you in a straight jacket? I do, don't I? Sharpens the concentration wonderfully. There. Now all he can do is eat. That's better, isn't it? Much more concentration. 
Bats can drink a huge volume of fluid in one go. Would be the same, the amount that he'll take would be the same as me drinking six litres all in one go. And see how all the juice is running between his nostrils, not into his nostrils? That's why they have a channel between their nostrils and the nostrils are slightly canted sideways so that the, um, the opening's not really here, but it's more on the sides. See? Having this or not? He really wants me to feed him with a bottle, but you're a big boy and you don't need to be bottle fed because you're good. So I come downstairs this morning and I find, hello Highlander, Highlander, two empty kebab sticks, an empty juice bottle and an empty smoothie, and one Highlander, where's Dingo? Have a look, Dingo is small enough to fit outside the bars of the cage. Oh look, at least I think it's Dingo out here. Hey Dingo. Have you got your feist back? Hmm? This is dummy discarded. That's funny. Somebody's got yogurt face. who's helping himself to everything. He loves the food. He can even close his cage. He can also squeeze out between the bars because he's very skinny. He may find that he can't do it for much longer because you eat a lot, don't you? Look at that. They like the yogurt. I know, you're ridiculously cute. And for somebody who was like a little baby two days ago, you're doing really well. Dingo has regained his feist. Are you being sniffed, are you, Quinn? It's the very best thing for you. Right, right up the top, of course. <laughs> 